This is a takeover. Wall Street and the ASX now at our fingertips with this right here. You're watching Eagle Review, courtesy of Steak. Remember, it takes just minutes to start investing, so visit hellostake.com or find them in the App Store today. Fantastic to have footy back for season 2022. Although a major glitch in the matrix with the Suns repeating their journey west for round one for one of the latest Sunday Arvo games surely ever scheduled in the history of sports. Star time didn't phase these two premiership legends as Mark Hutchings and Dan Venables cruise round Optus for their pre-game farewell lap of honour. And their presence clearly got the boys super jacked as they stormed out of the gates, booting five goals to a couple in the opening term. And despite missing six players from the top ten finishers in the worst fold medal last year, and plenty more, the boys even pushed the lead out to 23 points with this second snag of the day from Petch. The burst of speed! He went past the ball! But this talented Suns midfield started grinding away. Led by Matty Rao and his career-high 33 touches, he had 11 alone in the second term, while his partner in crime took Miller. He also had double digits in the quarter as well. The lads were clinging to a one-goal lead entering the final stanza, and after the centre bounce scoring onslaught that claimed the first three goals, it was Gold Coast who found the extra gear when it mattered most, booting eight final quarter goals to take it out by 27 points. It was a spirited and gutsy effort from a side missing many bona fide superstars. And despite some big names likely to return for next week, the Kangaroos away from home, whoa, it's going to be a tough challenge also. West Coast may have ranked Stone Motherless last in Fox's pressure gauge for 2021, but they blew it apart in the opening term, winning the tackle count and sticking a solid 63% of their grapples. The Eagles were also able to turn their defence into scores, booting four of their first five goals from forward half intercepts. The Suns dominated possession and the inside 50 count in the third quarter, but just couldn't capitalise how they wanted. The visiting team at one point kicking eight goals from 27 shots, while on the other hand, the Eagles were booting a very tasty 66% goal efficiency at that point. It had been 927 matches since Willy Rioli last officially suited up for the West Coast Eagles back in the 2019 elimination final, and he looked lively around the footy and up forward. It was an awesome sight, especially banging home this number from outside 50 in the third term. While West Coast have the second oldest list in the comp, it was anything but come Sunday afternoon with a whopping 13 players with less than 53 games experience. You would also think that seven players with less than 15 games experience would also be some kind of club record. Jermaine Jones' first half was absolutely out of control. Thrust into a larger midfield role to begin the season, he flourished, collecting an equal high 21 disposals, doing a ton of damage with his fellow small forward, Samo petreski seaton and Langdon in the first half. It looked dangerous all night long and should only continue to improve as the season wears on. Do you believe in magic? Xavier O'Neill brought his party bag to the game as if this left foot snap when heavy congestion wasn't good enough for his third career goal. How's the Harlem Globetrotter gather round the back tight on the boundary line, somehow finding Zach Langdon inside 50, who made sure he finished the strong team play. My man! It wasn't just the four Eagle debutants celebrating a milestone on Sunday, with Premiership defender Tom Barris chalking up 100 games for the footy club. With only one behind to his scoring tally, it was only fitting that the great man should boot his first major in the AFL, a moment celebrated just as hard by his fellow teammates. Not all great news for Willy Rioli, offered a one-match sanction from the MRP for this collision with Matty Rao in the third quarter. It will certainly divide the Eagles faithful with that gutsy play from Rioli and Rao resulting in a catapulting ball inside the Eagles' Ford 50 and Hugh Dixon slamming through his first AFL goal wearing the mighty blue and gold. Pretty! Pretty, pretty good. Eagles fans up and about to start the third quarter, but Shoal had so many different ideas to spoil that party. How's the first touch keeping the Sharon in front of him? Smokes it off the deck. <laughs> That's not bad. Probably got to paint that. <laughs> Maybe the reason Nathan Vardy wasn't able to make the trip west to be part of the royal carriage waving ceremony was because, according to the AFL, he was scheduled to play his 50th game for the club, which will be an almighty effort being not actually on the list anymore. 
when you've only played a handful of games, it makes sense to try and stat up as much as you can, entered Patrick Nation. and his effort on half back in the final term. Really stiff one of the Gabba. Big Joey Danaher taking this ripping mark on the stroke of half time, but the handball at the inopportune time, that's as stiff as they come. And the siren sound, you can't believe it. But the winner, and by a country mile, mind you, the coin toss at the MCG. How's the deliberate form put in the hours and rehearsal time, but the coin goes up? He's lost it. The players are all over it, but old mate has no idea. Thinks the breeze has just carried it off to the netherworld. Thanks for watching Eagle Review. Courtesy of Stake, invest in all 2,000 plus ASX stocks and EFT with flat $3 trades. Visit hellostake.com or download the Stake from the App Store today. This is a takeover. Wall Street and the ASX now at our fingertips with this right here.